Um, so for this acquisition, uh, what me and Yan uh, thought of is making something very simple yet very useful for NITN. Um, so after a bit of research, uh, what we come up is like uh, to automate the process of creating linear tickets whenever a PR is made. So uh, uh, for this, uh, what we have used is just the Google uh, GitHub Actions and the NITN. Uh, so the 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 process how it works is whenever a PR is made, uh, the and new NITN instance is triggered using the GitHub Actions uh, within the GitHub infrastructure, and where we have written a workflow. Um, uh, to create a linear ticket and also uh, to intimate that in the Mattermost channel. Uh, I, I'll, I would like Jan to continue and give a, an in-depth uh, presentation along with the demo. Perfect, thank you very much. Um, like one of the important pieces uh, there is like that the workflows don't run on a normal internet infrastructure, like it runs in GitHub Actions. And the question why that's important and what makes it why that special. Um, the great thing is like it literally runs on GitHub, so you don't need an own instance. So it cannot be down. It can there cannot be any connection problems. There could not be too many requests. Um, it's free to run. The it also enables that the data lives where it should live. So the workflow that runs every time, for example, you open a pull request, that workflow is living on GitHub, and the workflow that's there and version gets used. So you also have access to all the files on GitHub, and you can use them. And it's for example also helpful for the for the testing workflows um, Omar created, we can actually use the GitHub action um, to do that. So I can try, if I have some more luck with sharing, because I'm obviously also on Linux. <laughs> um, so let's see um, if that works. Is everything right or is it actually working? Yeah, it's working. It works, it works. Ah, nice, cool. Okay, so how that works, like we have this, um, where, where are we actually? Um, okay, we have this. This is the repository that actually contains the all the GitHub action code that you can run and 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 and, and on GitHub actions and also the workflows. Um, to give you, um, one part was obviously creating that workflows. The other part um, um, was making it possible that and, and can work on GitHub actions. And the third part was to make it easy for people to do that. So how that's done is like you can go. In this GitHub action repository, you can say run n at n, um, and then it will start n at n. The important part here is that it imports on start of all the credentials we have in this repository and all the workflows. So now you can go into n at n, and you have all the workflows uh, available here. So you can, for example, see I have two currently named the same. So I go into one of them and call it n at n new. So that's got now saved. If I now stop n at n, it will export the workflows on stopping. And you will see that if you actually so get status, you see the workflow got updated. So if you say git diff, um, you will see that it now updated the name. So you can now um, update, um, commit this one um, to, uh, to GitHub. So if you now, for example, say we do that, get status actually get at, um, we push that one here, get push. Actually, I have to do it from somewhere else. Go in at n, see the n at n, GitHub action, git push. Um, it will now start this GitHub action here. You will see it is running. Actually, it should be running. Git push. Ah, git commit, sorry. Uh, whatever. Git push. So now, it starts at workflow. And while we do, while it's starting, we do, uh, we also open a PR. So they, I also have here, we open a new PR. Um, we do this one. When it, we start this, open this PR, it opens another, starts another GitHub action, both to different things. The first one on push, we have one GitHub action set up with the main one that starts workflow number one. Workflow number one simply will push um, publish a GitHub message. Workflow number uh, three, which uh, gets executed uh, on push, will actually uh, do exactly what what uh, what Kaushik just described before. So once it's done, 
you will see it, it will check out and it and it will get all the information and then run the workflow. And if it's all done, it would actually publish that <laughs> that message you see here. I don't know, it's, it's, it's the first one that runs through, it said push to GitHub. And as soon as the second one did run through, you will what you will see that it created a, a message, uh, an issue on, on linear. And it will also publish uh, a message to, to Metamorphs. Now you will see it here. And you will see that if you look all you see, actually, yeah, it was already there. I don't know, uh, sorry. You will see here is this, this new GitHub issues. And it's all that run all on the GitHub infrastructure. And yeah, so it can be reused for many, many different things. In a sense, it was important that people the, the main reason to do that is like, for example, we have this test workflows, I have the edit and release workflow that also runs locally. Um, and all of this code is running on a different infrastructure and especially it's saved somewhere else. And like this, you really have always the credentials and the workflows where they should be. And obviously the credentials are still encrypted uh, and everything works like it should work. So hope I, I'm in time. <laughs> <laughs>